1738, the Russo Turkish War. Well, there were a series of Russo Turkish Wars, but you know, specifically, are you talking about the one in 1738? Hang on a minute. Let me see if I can find something else. Ah, uh, hmm. Ooh, what about Jacques D. Falkinson? I hope I said that right. Um, he was a French inventor. Who created the first automaton? Ooh, that sounds, you know, lovely. That sounds like a nice thing. Are you? Something tells me you're not talking about that either. Oh, you're kidding me. It's just the name of liquor. Are you serious? Oh, I don't think the song can get any worse. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Oh stop. Stop. Stop it. Can you play that one more time? I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Hey, what's up? Hello are the same thing. They're different words. They're spelled differently, but they mean the same thing. These are filler lyrics. And they're at the start of the song. Like, you know, minus all that 1738 bullshit. These are the opening lyrics. Barry to the Jesus, what? Does that mean when I think it means or am I just assuming again? Because that's what I like doing. We just had a go talking about the Lambo. Sure, and do that. I'll just. Um. Okay, two things. One, how do you not know? And two, can you count? Said you had 50, 60 grams, and then you say you probably have 100. Um, you need to add 10 more to that because I'm pretty sure 50 plus 60 is 110. And I love it. It's almost like he didn't bother to count anyway. It's like he just looked at it and go, well, we got 50 and we got 60 of here. Oh. Uh, who cares, homie? It's about like 100, right? Man, I swear I love it. How she worked it. Wait, this girl's a stripper too? I mean, wasn't she just selling dope with you? Hit the strip club, we be letting fans go. Everybody hate who we just call them fans though. Hey, there goes that obligatory rap line about the haters. It needs to be in every single song now. I don't know why. Why do you always talk about the haters? Just don't care about them. Really, this line really does... Pissed me off more than anything. Like, it's supposed to be people hyping this song up, to, talking about how original it is. But no, it's just the same rap cliches. In love with the money, I ain't never like you. Didn't the fucking previous line talking about how if she married the money, you, you introduced her to your stove? Was that how that line went? What was the point of the stove thing? You know, let her cook it, cook the dope with you or something? Married to the money, you know, let her see my stove. Okay, she shows you the money, you're just gonna let her see a stove? What's gonna happen after that? Where are these lines going? <laughs> okay, so now he's getting high with her. Is this entire song just his boring ass life with her? Just spending your boring ass day with this girl? Is Does that warrant an entire song? It seems to me you just sound like some boastful schmuck. And now he's making pies. What do people find so interesting about this song? It's so boring. It's just about someone's life with some girl. Okay. Do you really need to make a three minute song around this? That's my point here. And we're back at this boring ass strip club. Do you like just do anything other than just sell dope? You know, go to strip clubs and buy Lambos. Because, again, typical rap cliches. That's all they are. We've heard this shit before. Heard, heard, heard. Here it is. 
and one line that you hear in every single rap song. It's not witty, it's not funny, it's not catchy, it isn't anything. It's just bland. Ha ha ha, I'm gonna fuck your hoe, I'm gonna fuck your bitch. You hear it all the time, it's not funny. I don't know what you're trying to do with this line at all. At the end of the day, this song is just bland. I mean, Fetty Wap isn't the worst artist I've heard, and he's definitely not the worst artist I've reviewed, or probably will review. Believe me, there are a lot of words I can get into, uh, especially with the repertoire I have now. But at the end of the day, this song is just bland. You want to know what Trap Queen is? It's just basically a girl who listens to trap music. That's literally it. Urban Dictionary describes her as a loyal friend, someone who lives with her family, cares about them, gives no fucks to bitter or petty bitches. She also listens to trap music, so basically this is a girl who listens to trap music. You don't need an entire word just dedicated to what you can just basically say anywhere. You can call her literally anything but trap queen, but you know, since he needs to sell a song, he needs to sell a phrase, because that's what rap is about nowadays. It's just selling a dance or a phrase or some idiot word that's going to be used for about a year, and they completely dropped off the face of the earth.